All right, so hopped in the truck today, hooked up the trailer, went to go get some work done, and uh, Murphy's Law reared its ugly head. Mm, there it is. Ain't going nowhere until we fix it. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that with a tire plug kit. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but after this video, you will be, so stay tuned. All right, so I got this kit off Amazon, of course. It's got, I don't know, it's got the tire plug uh, installing tool, some pliers, um, and then this reamer tool right here. That's the one we're going to use first. So with a screw like this, like I know that this screw is like an inch and a half long because it's coming from one of my job sites. And I'm just going to use this screw gun to back it out. And also I'm going to run the screw in reverse to try to ream the hole as best I can because sometimes putting that tool in a hole that's pretty small can be difficult. So I'm just going to use the screw to do the most of the work for me. There's the screw. All right, then we'll go to the reamer tool next. It comes with this little thing of lubricant right here. Put a little bit on there. And find your hole and start jamming. Right here these are each each one of these is an individual tire plug so you're gonna peel off the paper plastic pull off one of these plugs and then just like threading a needle put it through this hole right here Way, like that and what we're going to do is we're going to push this into the hole and get it as far down as we can so we just see a little bit of these hanging out and we're going to take this and use it to push that plug into the hole so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't Like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It would be helpful if this tire was in a spot where I could be pushing down on it instead of sideways laying down in the dirt. But I didn't want to take the whole wheel off since it's on a trailer that has a big fender flare. Oh, come on. All right, let's try to ream it some more. You know, I'm going to put a little bit of air in it, that way I have something to fight back against.
So, as you can see, oops, sorry about that. The nubs are just sticking out. I don't know about an inch or so. And we'll end up cutting that. We'll end up cutting that excess off. But I kind of want to work it in a little bit farther. Putting the air in the tire. Having a little bit of air in there helps definitely. Alright. Well, that's as far as it'll go. And then you just pull the tool out and the plug will stay in place. Maybe jam it in a little bit more. Now this type of repair is more of an emergency kind of get you back on the road type repair so ideally what you'd want to do is take the tire to a shop have them take it off the rim and then clean the rubber scuff it up from the inside and apply a patch with glue and uh, that way the tire pressure the actual pressure is actually pushing the patch on the hole tighter and it's just a much safer longer lasting patch but this is something that most anyone can do and it's good to just carry a kit like this in your car truck or your trailer box for instances like this where you have to get someplace and uh, you wouldn't really be able to take the trailer to a shop otherwise without taking the whole wheel off and spin yeah. whatever's left like that little bit just from driving it'll grind itself off and wear itself down so we're gonna have to go ahead and put some air in the tire and get it filled up <laughs> So I want to talk a little bit about this compressor right here. So this thing is awesome. Uh, you can find them at like O'Reilly Auto Parts Store, uh, um, AutoZone and stuff. And I think they want like 80 or 90 bucks for them, which is even worth it at that price. Like it's a little cheap Chinese compressor. But if you read the reviews on this online, like it, you'll get your money's worth. People are getting years of hard like off-road use out of these in the dust, in the dirt, filling up big, large truck tires over and over and over again and uh it's just an awesome little compressor it runs on 12 volts so right here i got a battery that i'm just using right now but normally i would have this like wired to my truck or something and uh the thing is very efficient it pumps a lot of air for its size there's better ones out there but you're going to be spending upwards of three four hundred bucks like this one here comes with the hose the adapter which is kind of kind of crappy because you have to spin it on you might want to change that out which i might do in the future but this is like the the fourth one of these I, I've owned. Not have owned, like I've gotten rid of them because they've worn out. I bought four and I'd put one in each of my vehicles because they're so reliable. I wouldn't go anywhere without one of these. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm only partial to this compressor because I've used it and I find that it works extremely well. This one goes by the Superflow MV50 name. Uh, I think there's another uh, renamed one called like the Tsunami or something like that. But if you look at this style of compressor, and if you see one like that in the store for under under 100 bucks, I'd buy it. But uh, I think Amazon's got them for $69.99, which is still a good deal. So just wanted to tell you a little bit about that compressor. It's a really good deal. And uh, if anyone you you care about is driving around by themselves and you think they might get a flat or stranded on the road, uh, this could be a, a very safe option to keep them uh, able to keep going. So we'll keep filling this tire up. All right, so we're at 50 PSI. Right there. All right, so another trick that's pretty helpful is you just get a spray bottle. Fill it with like, uh, you know, five, six, five or six drops of like Dawn dish soap or something like that. And you're just going to spray it around this hole. And what happens is the air, they, you know, if there's a leak, it'll kind of blow bubbles. That's what the soap's for. It'll help make that leak more prominent, and uh, it'll blow bubbles, so you'll be able to notice it easier. So if we see any bubbles, then we know that plug's not 
doing its job. And this one looks like it's working pretty good. I'll try to get you a little bit closer here. bubbles being created so I'm confident that that'll work all right let's go ahead and take the air off put the tire cap back on and no repair on a tire is complete until you give it the old all right well if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a like give it a subscribe i'm just a regular dude doing stuff all by myself fixing things working on things keeping going and uh i'd like to help anyone out there that has problems or issues with equipment or something around their house or cars or i don't know been working on all sorts of stuff so um yeah again that that kit here i'll try to get a link in the description for um where the this kit that i bought or one similar to it this one's i think it was like 26 bucks and these handles are actually you know you can tell they're pretty heavy duty there's a lot of quality right here like like the cheap gas station ones if you go to press it in sometimes i've had them bend or break right here and like just jack your wrist up super bad because you're under a lot of pressure you know pushing it in and then to have it just break at the last minute sucks it could risk stabbing your hand or something like that too so get something that's decent i think this one's fairly decent both of the tools are heavy duty this one has a little set screw right here so you can replace this uh needle portion and it comes with a spare i don't know it's right there tucked in there it's got an extra reamer which this one might have worked better for what we're doing come on there's the backup needle and then that reamer this one's more of like a rasp so that may have worked better come on there it is the one we used was just like this like a corkscrew kind of but it got the job done we did struggle a little bit so maybe if you get this kit start out with this guy because there are wires inside the inside the tire there's steel belted bands basically just a, a bunch of steel wires in there that make the tire super strong when it hits rocks and stuff and you have to pierce through those so yeah if you like this video like i said give me a like subscribe um and i'll just keep putting out stuff as i do it so stay tuned thanks for watching oh yeah one other thing so for this tire repair you have to dress like this you just have to